Hello folks, I hope you're having a good day and what a good day it is. I am uh, super excited and had to just uh, put out a quick video about the fact that we're getting a McCartney 3. Uh, how amazing is that? I mean, uh, Paul's going to play all the instruments. Uh, Paul McCartney is one of my all-time favorite uh, artists and musicians of all time. Uh, I think he's a melodic genius in a lot of ways, as was the rest of the Beatles. And naturally, being a fan of the Beatles, I am a huge fan of Paul McCartney. He's a, he's a, he's an inspiration to me, uh, not only musically, but in life, and he's just a genius when it comes to melody and earworms and songs that get caught in your head and you don't know why, it's just there. And um, his work is unbelievable in that way. Uh, I love, love everything about him. His whole career, I collect every album and I am a huge fan. News had dropped this week that McCartney is going to be releasing a third installment it seems fitting that McCartney would release an album in 2020, it being him releasing McCartney in 1970, uh, 1980 being released McCartney 2, and now in 2020 we get McCartney 3. So uh, the turn of a millennium is when he releases these things, and it's just awesome. Uh, it's just it's just beyond. It gets me so excited. So excited. Are you guys excited about McCartney 3? I can't tell you how excited I am about it. He's going to be playing all the instruments as he did in the previous two installments. I just can't wait. I've already pre-ordered my vinyl copy on I chose standard black vinyl as that's what I prefer to uh, listen to things on. I'm not a big colored vinyl person and I know that Target has an exclusive green vinyl and it's like a, a pinkish color. Um, vinyl for the Newberry Comics exclusive release, but I chose the Amazon exclusive just black standard pre-ordered vinyl. With this news dropping, I just thought I'd gush over my uh, excitement over uh, the fact that I still love Paul McCartney, even with his voice kind of degrading over time, but that it's a natural thing for people. Um, he is in his late 70s. He is an older gentleman now, so I mean, his, his voice is not gonna be the same. It's screaming like he did all the way back in the 60s. You know, he's he's still got a lot of his power in his voice and his scream, and it's it's great when he, uh, he's still a very creative, creative man. I, I consider him one of the best. A genius in a lot of ways, melodically and otherwise. I do just really feel like celebrating. Um, you know, I couldn't wait as soon as I got that email today. I pre-ordered it right away because I'm such a huge fan. I'm excited to hear what he's got up his sleeve and all the instrumentation that he um, put into this effort. I'm happy that he didn't copy McCartney 2 and put his face on the uh, cover. I'm happy that it's, uh, you know, it's a little direct with the, the die being just three, you know, right in the center. It's a little modern. It's, it's in the vein of new, his album new that was released a few years earlier. I feel like nothing can beat this Linda McCartney photo uh, for uh, McCartney's 1970 debut album for his solo career. And um, I just think this is a perfect, uh, perfect face for uh, McCartney too in 1980. So I, I'm happy that it's not um, his face in copying, uh, you know, his second installment but it is a little bit direct and more modern I guess. It's more direct and more easy to understand it's 3 McCartney 3 so um, and I assume a lot of fans that are just getting into him will, uh, will wonder why it's, McCart it's called McCartney 3. They're probably going to speculate as to why it's and they don't know about McCartney and McCartney 2 um, and maybe that'll encourage them to delve deeper. Maybe that was a, a choice in the um, in the marketing department office uh, when that when it came time to do the cover. What do you guys think about this brand new hot off the press news about uh, McCartney? I had heard things, uh, speculation, and when it was going to drop would be any day now, and it is finally here. So, uh, what do you guys think? Do you, are you guys excited? Are you going to pre-order your vinyl? Uh, I cannot wait. The 
awesome exclusive video he released about the project. I loved it. I was pausing it and looking at every single little thing he put into that video because it flashes pretty quick. So I was just like, I found myself sitting there pausing and looking at what he has and how he's doing it. Um, it's just an exciting thing overall, and um, I'm so privileged to live in a world where I can still get a new Paul McCartney album. You know, you never know, this could be his last. He's an older gentleman at this point, as I said. So, you know, knock on wood, I, I really uh, hope this is not his last effort, but the fact that it is McCartney 3 and that just ties his legacy all together is uh, a sensational, sensational feat. Uh, for this man. I'm so excited to hear the music and delve in. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode. I'll catch you in the next one and you can find me lounging to a melody. Take care. Thanks again folks for checking out this episode. If you do feel so inclined as to follow me on social media, you may gladly do so at Manza Media Art and Manza Media on every other platform. If you like prints, I've got an Etsy shop where you can pick up some of my original artwork and fan artwork. I'll catch you folks on the next episode of Manza Media.